Hi guys, it's Robin Morton here from Win With Robin and 22nd Century Gold. It's been a while since I have made a video or a podcast. So today I thought I would record a video and then put it on my Win With Robin podcast show. So if you're watching this, hello, I'll wave at you. If you're listening to this, welcome and I hope you get some value from this. If you do get some value, pop over to my website winwithrobin.com and you can subscribe uh, to my uh, newsletter, get a free gift and, you know, tell your friends, share the love. It's been a busy uh, last few months, uh, you know, despite uh, lockdown, I have been training very hard. I just completed a 1000 mile charity cycle ride in, uh, in August, which I'm still recovering from. And uh, yeah, I did a thousand miles in ten days for an Australian, uh, for Australian bushfire animals that were uh, so devastated at the beginning of the year. Uh, my my cycle ride was supposed to be the length and breadth of the UK, but because of COVID, I had to do it just on my own in the Highlands of Scotland, which seemed like a good idea at the time. But uh, if you know the Highlands of Scotland, the, the clue is in the name. There isn't a single piece of flat ground anywhere so it was very tough and doing it on my own it made it a lot harder originally I was going to do it in a bunch of uh, a team of people of like 20 25 people so yeah it was really tough but uh, yeah it's done uh, I'll maybe put a link somewhere uh, around this or you can find it over on, on winwithrobin.com and I'm wonderful if you could still sponsor me I think the sponsorship is open until the end of September that is not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about that, you know, when you have that blinding moment when you realise something that you should maybe have realised before. Um, I, I I wrote a, 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 a post about it recently and I called it my Kodak moment, which is slightly, uh, slightly off tangent and I'll explain what I mean by that in a second. But... Um, when I was a young lad, uh, many, many moons ago, I I used to um, do a paper round and I, I saved up every penny from my paper round because I wanted to buy a Kodak Instamatic camera. You know, uh, if, if you're as old as me, you remember these really, really cheap little um, Instamatic cameras and you, 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 you took your, your camera, uh, your photographs and you sent it off to the developers uh, and you got some photos back in two or three weeks time and it was really really big and exciting and you know everybody uh, did that sort of thing in, in those days and Kodak um, reared its head in my life again uh, many years later when I I took my first real proper job um, down in England just outside London uh, I worked for a, a major oil company at that time for a, a couple of years and uh, the, the building on the other side of the road from from me was the Kodak European headquarters and it was a huge building in fact Kodak were so uh, so big in that area that the, the little town that I lived in was nicknamed Kodak town and uh, you know they seemed to be just the most wonderful company uh, you, you could ever imagine at that time and that was in the late 80s so uh, it was a while ago but not that long ago and Kodak seemed to be, you know, just uh, on the cutting edge. In fact, they we had what was called the magic roundabout in between our two buildings. It was a six roundabout, multi multi roundabout. It's a, what did they call it? A double helix roundabout. It was the only one in the United Kingdom at that time. It was very futuristic and, and modern. And, you know, I was working for an oil company, Kodak, that was across the road. I felt that I was, you know, cutting edge at that time. Unfortunately, uh, Kodak were not as cutting edge as they could have been. And in 2012, they filed for bankruptcy. They, they completely missed the move towards automation and digital technology, which, you know, has swept across the globe, really. And it was one of the casualties of, of this. Um, there are uh, numerous other uh, companies which have fallen by the wayside than other companies that have uh, emerged and uh, done very very well and that's really what I want to talk about today because no matter uh, 
which country you live in uh, these days, you know, the robots are coming for your jobs. Uh, you know, they've, they've been helped by, um, you know, automation over the years, the move towards digital uh, and technology. Uh, and in particular, in the last, uh, very few last years, uh, blockchain technology. And then very recently, the COVID pandemic. COVID pandemic has been used probably by a lot of uh, governments and, and as an excuse for things that are happening, you know, the death of cash um, being one of them, um, you know, money printing being another one. These things are all going to get blamed on COVID, but do you know, these things were all happening anyway. This was all happening anyway. I've been involved in a gold technology company for uh, three years now, just come up three years and, uh, you know, we've been saying that, you know, the whole uh, Western economy is basically a deck of cards. This unsustainable money printing cannot, cannot go on. Um, imagine if you could go up into your attic when you got uh, towards the end of the month and you, you, you started printing your own money. How wonderful would that be? Yeah, well, that would get, get you in jail. And uh, that's really what the, the governments and the central banks, uh, they, that's what should happen to them because, you know, there was more, I, th I think I read recently, there was more currency printed in America in, in a month than had ever been printed up until that point. So, uh, you know, it's crazy. And, you know, the furlough payments right now are all coming to an end. There are going to be a lot of companies um, struggling, a lot of people out of work. And, you know, you've got to have, you know, you've got to have a, a plan B. You know, this is, it takes me back to this Kodak moment. When I was a kid, people used to talk about a Kodak moment being that, that moment that you, you wanted to preserve for posterity. It was a particular event in your life. It could be birthdays, graduations, weddings, etc., etc., holidays for me as a little boy. Um, and you wanted to preserve them and you took a photograph with your Kodak camera and your Kodak film. And that was, uh, you know, the, the Kodak moment. I had a different kind of a Kodak moment uh, a couple of years ago when I, I suddenly realised that I could either hide from the changes, you know, the, techno the technological changes, uh, blockchain, for example, you know, I, I, or, or I could embrace them. I'd had a brief flirtation with Bitcoin at one point. I, I thought I'd get involved with Bitcoin and I, I wasted money, basically. I lost money and I swore never to get involved in cryptocurrency or anything like that again. And in fact, when I, I got involved with my gold business, it was really the gold that I was interested in. Safe, honest, secure gold that everybody understands. I could see what was happening in the economy. I could see that gold was going to go up in value if people moved into that safe haven for their, for their assets. So I started getting involved with gold and it was uh, really successful. I was very, very happy with the way that had gone. And then after about a year, the, the company uh, started uh, taking its first steps into blockchain technology uh, and digital gold. And that opened up a huge, new, uh, wonderful uh, universe for us, to be honest, and uh, we became more and more successful. And, and right now we are just re-launching uh, our um, sales and affiliate uh, division, which is called Freebay. And Freebay is, the official launch is, is in October, but we're in a kind of pre-launch uh, situation at the moment. And uh, I think it might be something that a lot of people might be interested in. Um, I am really, you know, proud. Uh, I'm not being big-headed, but I'm proud that I am able have been able to help my family and uh, other people around me uh, over the last two or three years to, to leverage the, the global economy, you know, through uh, online uh, business uh, and blockchain and gold. Um, and I'm, I'm really loving helping people. And now we have, with Freebay, we have a real uh, business system that will um, help people around the world to build assets and create income. And that's the key thing here. Most people online are just chasing income. Most people who go to a job to the nine to five they are just chasing income. They're trading time for money. And the rich people, they don't do that. You know, they are investors. And 
in, in the old days, you had to be rich to be an investor. You know, people didn't have, um, bro you know, you couldn't just go and buy gold like you can now. Um, you, people still think that you need to have some kind of, you know, stockbrokers and middlemen to be able to get involved in gold and to build assets of any kind. Uh, you don't anymore. There are no middlemen. That is the whole point of blockchain technology. It's safe, secure, fast. Uh, it is um, totally transparent, cannot be hacked with. People can't uh, interfere with your transactions. So really, it, it, it is going to take over the world blockchain technology. Whether you like it or not, you may as well just have that Kodak moment and realise, hey, I'm going to get involved with this instead of burying your head in the sand like lots of people are still doing. And, you know, the whole the whole global trade system is, is moving towards uh, blockchain and digital technology. Um, you know, we're talking about, you know, possibly new currencies, you know, digital currencies that will um, take over from the dollar, for example. And I'm not talking about Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin is uh, the granddaddy of blockchain. It's the, it's the flagship. It's the thing that everybody knows about. But there are hundreds, in fact, thousands of other uh, uh, coins out there and other ways that you can get, uh, you can prosper from blockchain. There are so many ways that you can get involved, you know, fun ways you can get involved uh, for tiny, tiny amounts of money to start with. You can get involved in property, for example, uh, gaming technology, all these sort of things that I can uh, help you with because I've done it. Um, and it, it, it is real. It's as real as you can get. I mean, I bought some land recently. Uh, in, I live in a tiny little island on the west coast of Scotland. And land doesn't come up for sale very often. Uh, and I managed to buy a couple of pieces of land uh, that I've been wanting for a long time. Uh, I managed to negotiate uh, a deal. And I paid for that land with gold, digital gold. Uh, so it's as real as it gets. And um, it's a lot more real, to be honest, than the money in your bank account because that is just zeros and ones anyway. If you if you put your money in the bank, they might give you, well, they probably won't give you anything for it now. But if you're lucky, you get 0.5% or something like that. Whereas they take your money and they uh, invest it in, in gold. And gold has gone up 20, 30% in the last year. So they're making a fortune from your gold, uh, from your money. But your money isn't even actually in your bank account because uh, they operate under a system now called fractional uh, reserve lending. So you put 100 bucks into the bank and they lend out 90, 90 bucks to somebody else. And then they, in turn, uh, repeat that process and it goes on and on and on. So if we all went to the bank tomorrow and asked for our money back, they couldn't do it. They flat out couldn't do it because it's 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 been lent and relent and relent. So even our real money in the bank isn't our real money in the bank. So it's all digital nowadays. And you may as well get your, your head around that idea and uh, you know look at what's happening with war, look what's happening with employment. Um, you know automation is going to take a lot of jobs. Um, but blockchain is going to create a lot of jobs. So you know it's not necessarily doomsday for us all. It is more like, uh, as uh, one of my mentors, Sean Maloney, describes it, it's more like death by a thousand cuts. You know, so many ordinary people, millions of ordinary people around the world are going to miss out on life opportunities because of lack of education, lack of financial education, and, you know, misaligned uh, life expectations. You know, the, the, there's parts of the world now, parts of the developed world now, where children born today have got possibly a lesser life expectancy than, than we have. And they also have far fewer life opportunities than we have. Um, you know, so this, this is something you need to grasp now. We live in a, you know, communications age. We live in an age where, you know, peer to peer value driven, uh, education and business can be can be created by anyone you know anybody anywhere in the world um, you don't need to be rich to get involved you don't 
you know, there, there's so many people in the world don't even have bank accounts. They are, you know, the unbanked. And the unbanked have really limited opportunity to get involved in business uh, and create wealth. Uh, but now with blockchain, they can. You know, you can make a, a really, really healthy living online with a smartphone. Uh, you know, a smartphone and internet access, or even just internet access. You can do it. Um, the, 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 the whole world of telecommunications and finance has collided and it's all possible because of really the it's probably I would describe it as the greatest um, innovation of the 21st century blockchain technology so now you know it's it's time to to get your sleeves up and you know if you're a human roll your sleeves up and apply for a position uh, before the robots come and take it all away you know whatever technology is doing to overtake our um, our labor you know our manual labor um, is also providing us with new ways to rebalance wealth distribution and um, I think you know not being political or anything like that that another advantage of blockchain technology is that it's, it levels the playing field it's giving ordinary people um, an opportunity to 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 lift themselves up, you know, the, 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 the huge, huge gap between the rich and the poor, which has been getting wider and wider over the last few years, uh, we can start narrowing that gap. You know, we can start doing what the rich do. And so, um, you know, you can create an income from that technology, which many of you might be perceiving as threatening your livelihood. It can actually um, help you. You can become an you know, I, I can help you to become an insider into this technology. And as it evolves, you can be a stakeholder in it. You know, you can actually be part of this um, and create asset ownership that will protect your purchasing power, unlike the dollars uh, and the pounds and the euros in your bank account. Uh, and you can grow uh, your assets. You can actually provide a healthy income as well. You're not chasing income. You're earning income from your assets. Again, that is another secret that, uh, that the rich do. Read, um, you know, uh, Cash Flow Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki, for example. I mean, that's written a few years ago now, but it's as relevant as ever. And so I hope that kind of makes you think, oh, wow, I've got to do something about this. Have your Kodak moment, you know, have your light bulb moment and uh, embrace the, the whole aspect of blockchain technology don't run away from it. Don't bury your head in the sand. Uh, get involved with me. Find find a link somewhere around this uh, podcast and video message. And let's talk. Let's connect. And let's start building assets for your family's future and your grandchildren's future. Assets that will create your income and will be you will be immune to all of this COVID financial tsunami nonsense you'll be immune to it okay so i hope that was uh, interesting to you um, please uh, get back to me uh, and if you if you um if you enjoyed this you know share it tell other people subscribe to my uh, win with robin podcast channel uh, find me on uh, facebook uh, win with robin and also uh, 22nd century gold and let's, uh, let's get together and uh, build a really uh, amazing end to 2020 because you totally can. It's, it's absolutely out there. And we're all uh, right now rolling our sleeves up and we're really looking forward to exploding our, our, our incomes and uh, our, our asset ownership. So it's all there for the taking. We just have to go for it. That's it from Robin at Win With Robin and 22nd Century Gold. Have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you on the next video and podcast. Bye-bye.